two, one. Hi everybody, my name is Suhei. My name is Brian. And my name is Alexander. And, and we're, we're from Project, Project Habitat. Habitat. Project Habitat is a group with the mission to improve the living standards of people living in Myanmar. We saw the Shivan Global Post because his competition in 2017 about, about climate action and realized it is within the, group's, within the group's mission. So the project that we're going for is called Insectivore. However, the problem results are from cows. Cows produce a total of 25% of total methane emission. And from this 25%, there are gases like CO2 and methane and nitrous oxide. So those gases are also very potent to the environment. For example, if a gas, one kilogram of CO2 does this much damage, then one kilogram of methane does this much damage, which is equivalent to that of 25 kilograms of CO2. And if you look at nitrous oxide, the most dangerous gas that is even there from cows, you can see that one kg of nitrous oxide is equivalent to that of 298 kg of CO2. So if you're looking at this, cow produces a lot and a lot of dangerous gas that's emitted to the environment. And these two are the main type of gas that's emitted from cows. And CO2, all dangerous items and materials in the world produce CO2. So cows contribute to three major gases that's very harmful for the environment. And insect of all plants to solve this. So insect of all plants to monitor and assess in reduction of methane emission that's produced from giving greenhouse gases from cows, but how are we going to do that? Crickets. So we got this inspiration when I was walking down the streets one day and I saw a lot of street vendors selling crickets. And now in Asia, a lot of people eat crickets of the snack. So I thought to myself, why don't we grow crickets like crickets? Now you might not think of much of crickets, but they're actually really cheap and also have a lot of protein in them and they produce far less methane than cows would have produced. So by keeping track and lowering our consumption while encouraging insect consumption, we can monitor and assist in the reduction of methane emissions produced by cows. So here we and chickens produce far less protein than crickets. Crickets obviously have more protein than cows, but did you also know that crickets produce 80 times less methane than cattle? That's amazing, but that's not it. Crickets also make less amount of feed than any other animal to produce the same amount of meat. Now, you might think, oh, crickets are disgusting, and I don't want to eat them, but that's not true. Crickets can get really tasty if you know how to cook them well and clean them well. As you can see here, crickets only need 1,000 milligrams of feed to make 1 kilogram of meat, whereas cows need 10,000 grams of feed to make 1 kilogram of meat. But cows need 2,500 gallons of water to produce 1 kilogram of meat, whereas crickets only need 1 gallon. So by substituting cows with crickets, a lot of idea of substitution with insects. Insects only create one gram of three thousand per kilogram of meat, whereas cows produce two thousand eight hundred grams of three thousand gases per kilogram. So to sum it all up, to the reason why we want to eat crickets instead of cows is because it produces less methane, and we need less water and less feed to make the food, and we have more food. How is the app supposed to work anyway? The app can you utilize like something called a nutritional calculator in order to determine how much protein is eaten from crickets. In the beginning, users will input their body info, such as their weight, their height, and their gender, in order to determine their daily required protein intake using stats provided by certified nutritionists. Then, users will, users will input the type of insect they ate that day and how much of it. How much? Afterwards, the calculator interprets the data and tells you how, how much protein you got from the cricket chicken that day, and will also tell you how much beef would have the same protein equivalent of, of those crickets you just ate. It also has a greenhouse gas calculator, which, which works by taking the data from how many insects people consume over beef to find out how much less beef is eaten, which would then be used to calculate how much methane emissions were, were reduced by that dietary choice. For example, an, an, an average cow can like produce 70 to 120 kilograms of methane per year. So for so for every kilogram of beef not eaten, assuming that the cow lives two years, 20 kilograms of methane is prevented from being from from being produced and entering the atmosphere. Others, other other features. You can just get back to the wall. Okay, I'll cut that and then I'll restart. Okay, go. The app will have some other features, such as a recipe tab. 
which will provide links to recipe websites, which, which will provide step-by-step -step instructions for the preparation of different types of insects. It will also contain a map that shows that, that, that shows the location of nearby shops that sell insect, insects for, con, for, con, for consumption, and will also include all sorts of data about the shops, such as their price ranges, their opening hours, and their ratings. Now we're going to talk about getting data and the type of data that's involved in this application. The first type of data is public data, and it is the protein recommendation that we provide to all of our users who use the application. And this data will be gathered from public nutritionists, depending on their weight, height, and age. The public, the protein recommendations will vary accordingly. And this is shared to all of our users. And the next, the next type of data is crowdsourced data. Crowdsourced data is the data that we'll gather from all of our users. So the data involves how many grams of insects they have eaten as an alternative instead of cows. So by knowing how much, how much less cows are eaten, we can actually calculate our big data. By knowing how much less cows are eaten, we can actually know how much less protein methane is produced because less cows have been eaten and less cows will be eventually Produce, so we can create an estimation of how much less methane is going to be produced. So that is the mechanism behind the application and that's what we try to accomplish in Exacta more. And by getting all these data, what is our solution? So our solution for is for government and non-government agencies to impose tax on cow-related industry, either reducing or increasing it depending on the market. And the next thing is limiting the number of cows on the farm. If people are going to be less favorable and less started to be more appealing to eating more cricket and eating less cows, then we should impose a limit on numbers of cows as it will be a, people will less likely eat it in the future. So imposing a number of cows will also help the farmers also know that less people are eating cows, they don't need to produce a lot of cows on their farm. So it's beneficial for both sides and it serves as an efficient way to solve this problem. The third one is to create policies to in, to use more efficient use of pasture. Instead of growing cows on those land, they could do crickets, which require lost, uh, a lot less land, a lot less water, and a lot less fed. So fourthly, we would like to use, encourage farmers to use low feed, uh, to use feed that's low in methane production. So this is insectivore, and so this is insectivore. Yeah, this is insectivore. An interactive application that monitors and reduces the methane emission produced by cows by keeping track and lowering cattle consumption while encouraging insect consumption. We hope you guys enjoyed the video and you should totally try out my because they're really good to eat, you know, like clean the birds and cook them all. So this is what we have got for our uh, a proposal in sector 4 for our UN Global Cost competition, Big Idea Competition 2017 on climate action. And this is the group from Myanmar, Yangon, and we hope you guys have a nice day. Thank you!